Y'all know I had to drag myself on here so I could say something about something. Otherwise, it ain't nothing for me to say at all. And I ain't been saying nothing much lately either because it really, truly ain't been nothing I wanted to say anything about. But I'm all right right now. I got something I need to say. First of all, shout out to my first time going and checking my mailbox. Y'all hear me? Checking my mailbox. And nothing was in it. Ooh, celebrate. Because <laughs> I got tired of the damn junk mail frenzy. You hear me? See, my it was junk mail on top of junk mail on top of junk mail. And then I would find a check or a big statement or something, you know, legitimate. Shout out to November 4th. That's a new holiday. November 4th, 2020. Even though this damn election is drawn out. Here it is. Now, about to be November 6th. But it's November 5th now. Shout out to November 4th, the day after the election day. That I ain't paid no goddamn attention to. Not a not an inch. Look here. I got I just live my life like I normally live my life. It wasn't worth my time and energy, okay? My TV was off the whole damn day and part of the next day. It's off right now because they got football on tonight, Thursday night football or some bullshit. Just like politics, I ain't fucking with no sports nowadays either. So there you go. They in the same category as me. They in the same laundry hamper. They dirty. They need to be washed. I ain't got time for them. I'm straight. And I know y'all like, well, if you didn't vote, you ought not say nothing. Shut the fuck up. Let me tell y'all something. Vote. Don't vote. It is what it is. Too many goddamn people that's of age, supposedly adult now. You're supposed to have choices. Supposed to be able to choose now. They either chose to vote one way, chose to vote the other way. Chose to vote for this proposal, that proposal, whatever the hell they had going on. Okay, different levels and branches of government, whatever, I don't know. And then there's us, people that chose to say, fuck it. Have at it. It's going to be what it's going to be, and I'll deal with the aftermath. That's me right here. That's me. And I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free to decide not to vote if I don't goddamn want to. That's the remix. <laughs> and then for what? I go to the store and people on their phone on speaker so you can hear the conversation and shit. You ain't trying to, but you can't help but hear it. And you would think, I'm in Michigan, so you would think it's the Michigan versus state game and it's a championship game and they both trying to win the championship. That's how it be sounding like when they talking about something. Well, Trump, no damn well, he need to sit his ass down. Ain't nobody cheating. His ass cheated. He got a guilty conscience, and he do. That's why his ass making a big stink. Also, oh, he done did some illegal ass shit y'all don't want to talk about. And he's going to bite his ass as soon as he become a regular, normal, old, just run-of-the-mill citizen like you and me. <laughs> no, no more of that presidency shit. Okay. So, yeah. They talking about, oh, yeah, and he, and I'm laughing because I'm living my life like it's golden right yesterday. This is the day after the damn election. Them fools is up in there arguing and fighting and not fighting, but they out there protesting. I guess that's what you want to call it. Talking about the count ain't right. The recount. They ain't doing right by the ballots. They mad because Michigan started out looking like it was going to be a red state. And fuck that, I ain't about to insult the color. That's why I came on here with red. It's my favorite damn color. 
I don't give a damn how y'all use it and what it represents in politics. I don't give a damn if it represents the Bloods versus the Crips. Red is my favorite color, and I don't mind. Because I love how red look. So I came on this video on purpose all red, and it don't mean a damn thing about whether or not I support Trump or I'm a Republican or nothing. But we a blue state. And we was on pins and needles, some of us. I'm saying we. Just because I'm in the damn state, I got to just claim that. I mean, people. I know people around me. I was concerned. <sighs> Excuse me, y'all. A little tired. They was concerned, thinking that Trump had won this state. Then the maps and tea ballots and all of them mail-in votes and all of that early voting shit came in. They started counting. And it became very clear. No, no, Trump, no, no, Michigan blue, Michigan blue. So there, there, there's that. I don't really give a damn. I'm haphazardly finding out information that I ain't even trying to. It just happened to be there. When I finally turn my TV back on today, you know, when I'm visiting somebody's house and they got the TV on and the news come on, ain't talking about worth a shit, but they talking. And you happen to hear stuff. I ain't even trying that hard. I don't even give a damn. We get what we get and we don't have a fit. Now you teach your kids that. Now to reteach your damn self that. Sit in a chair in the mirror. And tell yourself, listen, you're going to get what you get and you don't have a fit. Now, what they're going to do, they're going to have a fit anyway. So, I don't even know why you bother. There's all the more reason why. I was like, why do we bother to teach our children? Why do we even bother? What is the point? For them to get to be our age and younger but still adult and older and whatnot. And all of that shit just go out the window. It don't matter no more. I can't, dog. I just can't deal. Can't deal with it. But I ain't been on here in a minute. Because I was just trying to lay back and chill. But this damn election got on my last goddamn good nerve. You hear me? It don't make no sense. Got on my nerves for real. And I've been trying to enjoy this weather as it's changing. Hold on, y'all. Oh. It's telling me I got to go to bed. I'm on it. I'm going to go to bed. I am. Early. It ain't even 8 o'clock yet, but it's about to be. I'll be in the bed by 9 or 8.30. I got one more thing I need to do before I go to bed. It ain't going to take long to do it. I just got to go on ahead and do it. Yeah, so these clown, these clown-ass Trump supporters and whatnot is down in the TCF uh, center. Over there, protesting and running in the fence, won't let them people count them damn ballots. They got guilty conscience, see. The man probably cheated and tampered with the election when he first got in. Now y'all got a guilty conscience. Y'all think, what? Well, and that's true. Because do on to others as you will have them to do on to you. So you might be on to something. Biden might be cheating to get back at Trump for cheating in the last election. I'm just saying. Y'all don't know, but it might be the case. It might be the case. I'm just trying to tell y'all what I know. Real talk. But I don't give a damn. I didn't waste my time with that. But you just inevitably can't help but say from my body because it's just in your environment. You can't even escape it. I was just so grateful to go open that mailbox today and not have to throw away no junk mail. I didn't read not a damn word on damn one of them goddamn leaflets and flyers and stuff. You done killed all them doggone trees. You done killed them trees. And speaking of a tree, we got the, the, the Christmas tree is up. On top of the Woodward Fountain. We gonna name it Vision this year. Vision. I had a vision of love. And it was more than you gave to me. 
All right, let me stop. Whose song is that anyway? Ugh. No. Oh, was that Mariah Carey? I thought, oh, Lord Jesus, I thought I that song song of Mariah Carey song. <laughs> anyway, we done started that the name going to be Vision. If you got the vision to see past all this bullshit going on, stick to the vision. Get a vision. Turn off the teller vision. Okay. I'm just saying. And that tree right there died for a special cause. But all that junk mail and stuff we've been receiving them trees that had to die that had to help make that dang on paper with the film and whatever they put on it to make it kind of cardboardish and it. I don't want to hear it. I don't even care. The point is y'all could have kept all of that. Because it ain't do nothing but allow me to, you know, sometimes you just need to rip paper. And that's one of the therapeutic ways to deal with, like, stress and stuff. God just been ripping up paper and apologizing to trees for the last few months. I'm so glad this goddamn election, I guess, is over. I guess. It's drawing out a little bit, though. It's drawing out. It's about to see Friday. Before I think we know the final results. But I don't know. I could be wrong. If I would turn on the TV and and follow it. Like I used to follow The Rock when I watched wrestling a lot. And I had to see everything he was in. Every commercial. Every show. Smackdown. Raw. The live shows. Just random stuff. Movies. Everything. But I ain't following this shit like I used to follow him like that. I still kind of follow him a little bit. No. That's my boy. I wish he would have ran. I should have went. You know what? What I could have did was went and voted and wrote his name in. I sure could have. Yep. But I didn't want to. Because I just did not have time for the process in 2020. We got too much shit going on. I'm trying to deal with it. Trying to keep my mind right from this damn COVID-19 mess and all that stuff. And I just ain't had time for it. They should have delayed the whole election. And we should have did it in 2021. And from this day forward, now, you know, it would have been every four years on the odd year instead of the even. That would have been better. I might have thought about it then. But I'm not convinced. All of it is some bullshit. I'm just going to sit back and watch it. Like a bad reality show. That's all I got to say because I've been talking too much. And that's what happened when I'm going to be on here a minute. I talk too much. Let me hush. Let me get off this camera. And let me get ready to go to bed because I done yawned twice in the video. I'm tired now. Hmm.